Hello everyone, let's start with question number 3. So it says, state whether the following statements are true or false. Justify your answer. So we have to justify as well and we have to write whether it is true or not. So first part says, under root 2 over 3 is a rational number. So isme, inhone hume bola that under root, three, under root 2 over 3 is a rational number. Which we can clearly say that the statement is false. But why the statement is false? You can see that it is in the P over Q form. Kis form mein hai? P over Q ki form mein. Lekin, jo humari condition hoti hai, wo rational numbers hi ye hoti hai ki P humara kya hona chahiye? Integer hona chahiye. Or Q bhi humara kya hona chahiye? Integer hona chahiye. Lekin, is case mein humara P jo hai, it is under root 2. So under root 2 to ek irrational number hai. So integer to nahi hai ye. So therefore we can say the first statement is false. Second is there are infinitely many integers between any two integers. So this is wrong. This is false. This is actually true for rational numbers only. Not for integers. Integers ke case mein maan lo ki aapko maine do integers diye 3 and 4. अब 3 and 4 के बीच में तो कोई भी ऐसा integers नहीं है और ऐसा नहीं है कि बहुत सारे integers होते हैं तो कोई integer नहीं है इसके अंदर तो this is false third में number of rational numbers between 15 and 18 is finite तो वो बोल रहे हैं कि मतलब जो 15 और 18 के बीच में numbers लाए करते हैं rational numbers लाए करते हैं वो हम count कर सकते हैं but ऐसा नहीं है कोई भी rational number हो आपके पास और उसके बीच में infinite number of rational numbers होते हैं ऐसा नहीं होता कि you can count them बहुत सारे rational numbers मिल सकते हैं हमें in between two rational numbers so this is false let's do question number 4 it says there are numbers which can be written in the form of p by q q is not equal to 0 and p over q both are not integers so this is true. We can do right. We can do right in the form of p by q, or जहाँ पे हमारे p और q integers now. जैसे मान लो, you have under root three over under root five. So under root three भी integer नहीं है, और under root five भी integer नहीं है. This could be one example under fourth part. Let's move on to the fifth part. Fifth part mein hume bola gaya hai that square of an irrational number is always rational. So agar mein bolo aapko that we have an irrational number as under root 2 raised to power 4. So agar iska hum square karte hai. This is irrational. Iska square karke dekhte hai. So, सबसे पहले inside bracket खोलो, it will be 2 raised to power 1 over 4, then raised to power 2, इन दोनों को multiply करो, powers को multiply करो, so you will get 2 raised to power half, अब 2 raised to power half क्या है, under root 2 है, which is not rational number, this is not a rational number, तो हमारी जो statement है, it is false. Let's move on to the 6th part, 6th part में under root 12, over under root 3 है तो is not a rational number वो कह रहे हैं कि जो under root 12 है और over under root 3 है वो rational number के equal नहीं है बल्कि है कैसे 12 को कैसे लिख सकते हैं we can write it as under root 4 into under root 3 अब under root 3 और under root 3 cancel हो गया you are left with under root 4 under root 4 को कैसे define किया जा सकते हैं it can be defined as 2 तो 2 hamara kya hai? It is a rational number. So therefore, this is true. Now moving on to 7th part, last part of question number 3. So it says, under root 15 over under root 3 is written in the form of P over Q. Where Q is not equal to 0. So it, it is a rational number. So check karte hai ki rational number hai ya nahi. सबसे पहले under root 15 को कैसे लिखा जा सकता है under root 5 under root 3 over under root 3 under root 3 से under root 3 cancel हो गया so you get under root 5 but under root 5 तो हमारा कैसा number है irrational number है so this is 
false. So that's your end to the question number three. Thank you for watching this. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.